Hello viewers, welcome to QTP functional testing videos, myself Udai. In this video, I would like to demonstrate about how to work with Windows registries. So, when, you, when we manually test an application, uh, we may need to create some of the Windows registry files, we may need to update some of the registry values, right, before testing our application. So, once we are done with the our application testing we may revert back those with our original registry values right so the same way when we are automating also if you have to do that we can we can do that using QTP there is no special built-in support as such in QTP but VBScript has a method called wscript.shell by using this object we can work with windows registries all right so i hope like people might familiar with this windows registries to uh, like you know how we will open windows registries like just clicking on windows r it will come the run say so just reset it so when you click reset it it will show you the windows registry file right so which is like a folder kind of structure will be there the main windows registry settings will be in hk current user and hk local user so for this demonstration what i'm doing is i will use uh, i'll use mission um, hk so basically the hk underscore current user is there right so the short form for this is hk you the rest of the things that you need to give in the same name all right so uh, but like you know for this demonstration purpose I will try I am choosing some specific folder but it is up to you to give whatever path that you want here all right so wherever you want to update these windows registries you just need to give that path all right I'm in make test now. Uh, test objects, all right. So test objects are some browser. Uh, I'm using this path, all right. So here in this folder, like as you can see in this folder, you have multiple registry values, right? This is the registry property, like you can say registry name and the corresponding value this is of type so registries will have different type as you can see once i click on here say when i say key oh sorry when i say string value binary value it can be a d word or q word whatever it is so these are the different types of values that we can create here and uh, for example say here what i would like to do is i would like to add one folder all right so in order to do that what i have to do is first i need to create a w script dot shell object all right once you have this object this object have a method called reg write so the it's like a reg write is nothing but registry write all right in this registry write uh, method we need to specify the path where exactly you want to write as you can see till this path we have in registry now till it common use so what i would like to have is i would like to create one folder called temp folder right so this temp folder i am giving and you need to put a slash so that the folder will be created right and after that i am giving some value of type string here so strings will be represented as reg underscore sz all right so what is this qtp so whenever you create a uh, folder in registry it would create some uh, default key so as you can see for example say if i say here if i can create a folder new q1 as you can see which come up with default key right so i am assigning the i will i'm doing the same thing with the folder name called temp folder the default property is qtp which is of type uh, string 
all right let me execute it and show you what is happening here all right this statement got executed as you can see new folder uh, new folder temp, like you know temp folder uh, folder is created with the default property and the corresponding value is qtp all right so this is done like now what i would like to do here is i would like to add one property as i told earlier that if i can i can create any value like just string value or whatever it is right so you can give some property value property and you can assign the value for it also like say 110 or whatever it is right so how can i do that so to do that we can use the same method all right here see till temp folder i have my, this is my path where i am going to add temp property as the a key all right so just forget about it like you know this could this this i would have mentioned like key but whatever the key that you want to create you just need to give the key name there all right so here what i am doing is i am creating a key with temp property all right which is having a value of one and the type is binary here so let me execute it if i refresh it here as you can see temp property key got created which is of type binary which have a value of binary value is 0 1 so this is a representation for 1 in binary all right and uh, in the same way what here what i did was like you know i am adding another another property called temp property one when i say temp property one this is a key new key will be added which have a value of stamp value and uh, are which is of type string i am using the same method here uh, i have created another statement because here i i would like to demonstrate the difference like here it is a binary type here it is a string type all right let me execute it as you can see temp property one key got added in this path which is of type string and the corresponding value is sam value right so this is done and the next one is for example say i have some value like as i uh, here see as we are already having sam value right I would like to update this value with some another value say x y z or a b c how can i do that so this shell object doesn't have an update method but by using the same method registry write only with for ex uh, we can update the value for example say we already have the temp property one how it internally works is if we already have the property mean to say key the whatever the new value is there this new value is update with the old value all right so the same method the same thing like you know i have given till this path after that i gave a new value which is of type string all right let me execute it and sh show you what is happening in here all right so when i select it as you can see at this moment it is sam5 after updating it it changed it to sam value one two three which i have given here all right so that is what is happening here and after that uh the default value okay so basically now what i would like to do here is i have some register settings here i would like to read the specific value all right here what i am doing is if i am specifying just till folder level so what does it mean here is i have this common use folder i am just giving this folder name i am ending as you can see i am just ending in here with backslash so when you 
and with this any specific folder level what it will return is it will return you the default key in that path all right so the method we have to use to read a windows registries is we have to use reg read so it stands for registry read all right so as you can see i am giving this path till this path i am ending the folder name like you know with slash so by default what it should do here is now whatever the value the default key that holds it should return that value so now it should print qtp now let me show you that as you can see qtp got printed here right so now for example in my next example what i would like to do here is i would like to read a specific registry key as you can see temp property one is my key right so i would like to read the value there in this key so how can i do that so after this till this path we have right this temp property is temp property one is existing in, in this path you just need to give whatever the property name that you want the only difference in between these two here is here you are ending with the uh, folder you are ending with a slash so when you say slash it will return you the default key if you are giving the key name then it will return you the whatever the key name that you have specified here right so as you can see temp property one the value is temp one two three right so when i execute it it should give that value as you can see temp a uh, temp value one two three got printed here all right so the next one so how can i delete a specific property for example i have some registry keys here i would like to delete that key so in this example i am just uh, deleting this windows registry make sure that uh, before you delete registry setting all these things right here. before working on any registry it is always advisable to you to take a copy of this windows registry file okay so now how how can i do re, uh, delete a windows registry key for that what you have to do here is uh, with this shell object we have a method called rich delete so which is registry delete all right so i am giving the full path till that proper now uh, till that key so I would like to delete in temp folder. I would like to delete temp property one. Right? When I execute this statement, it will delete the key. Okay. All right. It got executed. As you can see, temp property one got deleted here. All right. So now, in my next example, what I am doing here is I would like to delete the entire folder. This temp folder is there, right? I would like to delete this temp folder. When you delete this temp folder, whatever the keys is there in that folder will also get deleted. Alright. So I use I can use the same method by using the right delete method only, but I am just giving the folder path and slash. So we should delete this folder name. Alright. Let me execute and show you what is happening here as you can see now i'm just pointing out in here i'm just refresh so as you can see the folder got deleted all right so that is how we will work with windows registry files uh, using qtp or fib script so this shell object have three methods reg write which is for registry write and uh, this uh, reg read this is for registry reading if you have any specific key you just give the path of that windows registry key which will review uh, which will read the value from that registry key and will return you the re uh, registry key value all right in order to delete any specific registry key or registry folder you need to use reg delete which stands for registry delete all right so that's all in this video. Thanks for watching this video. Please leave your comments about this video. Thank you